Hello and welcome to Go To Tech Reviews. Today we are going to be building a family computer for the downstairs. Alright, so like I mentioned earlier, I will be putting together a family build for the family to use, uh, so for the kids and, and the wife to do just basic computing tasks, getting on the internet and printing things, uh, and also some Minecraft, so some light gaming for the kids, uh, but that doesn't really require a whole lot. Uh, I have big plans for this to eventually have it plugged into the TV as well as monitor downstairs with a switch, but that'll come later. We're just going to start now with the, the basic build and we'll just have a 24 inch 1080p monitor down there. Um, so yeah, let's go over the parts and see what we got. So for the case, which I have reviewed earlier, uh, the Thermaltake V21. So we're going to be using that as the chassis. It's a cube chassis. Uh, I, I didn't go with the smaller mini ITX. I wanted uh, room for expandability and a lot more airflow. And this was a good size. It, it's still maybe a little bit on the bigger end for an HTPC slash family build, but it will be sitting on the desk. I'm going to route wires uh, to the TV eventually. So it's actually not going to start off as an HTPC, but it will eventually. So this is going to be sitting on the desk uh, either way anyway. So this is a good, perfect size for that. Uh, so it's a Skylight build. We've got the Gigabyte Z170N Gaming 5 motherboard. We've also reviewed this. Uh, I wanted something that was small and expandable and allow for gaming in the future. Uh, and also to be able to use the faster RAM. Um, we will be using the Intel Core i3-6100. Uh, again, it's a fairly low-end system for now. Uh, but this will be enough to handle Minecraft for the kids and just do the basic computing. Uh, so a dual core, uh, hyper-threaded at I believe it's 3.7 gigahertz. Uh, so again, Skylake uh, socket 1151. Uh, I have the Cooler Master 212 Evo cooler coming, but for now I'm gonna actually just build it with the Intel stock cooler. So let's set that off to the side. We've got G Skills uh, Rip Jaws 5. Uh, so these are rated at. Uh, so this is DDR4 memory rated at uh, 3,000 uh, giga transfers per second uh, using XMP profiles. Uh, I went with the red color theme to match. So this is going to be a black and red build. That shouldn't really be too big of a surprise here. Um, for the power supply, uh, this might be a little bit on the overkill side, uh, but. I, I, in retrospect, I kind of wish I would have gotten a gold rated one. Maybe I'll do that and, and save this for another build down the road. Because this machine's going to be on a lot more than my uh, desktop upstairs here. But it's the EVGA Supernova NEX750B. I wanted something that was semi modular. Um, it still kind of has the ketchup and mustard uh, cables, but we're going to eventually get uh, some cable mod cables uh, to put in there so the the sleeved ones I'll probably get red or red and black to hide some of that there is a window on the case so it will matter I like looks um, on my builds and then for the OS we've got the crucial MX100 uh, 256 gigabyte SATA 6 uh, or a SATA 3 and then we're gonna start off with the Seagate Barracuda uh, 4 terabyte hard drive so yeah so th those are the parts for the build for now uh, we're gonna be doing some testing but for now let's just go ahead and jump right into the build